For this video, I set out to decorate an egg in a similar manner to an egg pot, but using no electronics whatsoever. I tried to make an interesting and unpredictable pattern mechanically, and ended up trying to build a chaotic pendulum to achieve that. I don't think I succeeded at any of those goals, but I found the process interesting. The videos I've enjoyed making most have been interesting failures, and I hope you enjoy this one. Okay, this isn't how to basic, so I'm going to gently place that there. I've just been watching a documentary about the Orion program, where the US government decided to try to propel a spacecraft into orbit by detonating nuclear bombs behind it. That never really worked out either, and I'm quite glad it didn't, but that's quite an interesting failure as well. I'm going to attempt to attach the egg somehow to ratchet so that a kind of oscillating movement can gradually rotate the egg. Now these are skateboard bearings, they're over inside all skate wheels, 8mm diameter, that goes like that, that would go like that.
seem to have accidentally built a pendulum clock mechanism instead of a egg decoration machine. Um, I'm going to take that to pieces, but I'll just uh, show you how it works. The wrench is connected to this uh, two-direction ratchet screwdriver uh, via this timing belt. Um, and the ratchet on the wrench is set to the opposite direction to the ratchet here, which means that as you as you turn the pendulum, first that stops and prevents the this whole part of the mechanism is on a kind of hinge. And the idea is to try to adjust the tension on that belt using these weights on the end of that arm. Now I think there's potential to build a pendulum clock, but I think if I was going to do that, I would probably laser cut all the parts and, and make it properly, because this would just be a, a nightmare to try to get this style of mechanism working. So the idea is that as the weight descends, it will add energy back into the pendulum and hopefully sustain it a bit longer. It's a bit more power on the pendulum. The other click that you hear is the ratchet screwdriver. It's managed to sustain itself quite a while now, but I'm not sure this is the right mechanism for an egg bot. I think it's time to do the first attempt at drawing a line on the egg. I've linked this via a ribbon to the shaft coming out of the drill. So as the drill turns, this will move over the egg and we'll get some sort of wavy or diagonal line, hopefully. And to put my pen into the pen holder. Pen is now touching the egg. There we go. I guess I can go back now. So I can get a kind of oscillating action if I somehow permanently attach this here. So from here it's going to go backwards and forwards once over. So that's not bad for a first attempt I reckon. Here is a fresh egg. I'm inserting the pen.
maybe that could do with that's not very high contrast because that's orange putting the egg in the other way around now to get a spiral in the opposite direction pop that out again yeah egg in again the other way pop the pink pen in wind the other way for one go Maybe you could have hoped for something a bit wilder, but I think that's a nice start. Well, I fixed the pendulum to the pen arm. I'm going to see if that will get any less predictable, more interesting patterns going on. But if I could make this into a chaotic pendulum, then that would be really interesting. this into a chaotic pendulum I just cut the pipe in two and now I'm joining it back together with rope so it can now swing in two distinct halves I added weight to each section of this to try to get more chaotic effects in the swinging pattern I think this is probably best I've been able to manage. I just need to find the best starting position. So this is decorating eggs with a chaotic pendulum. I don't have any fresh ones left. But I'm going to put in this one and use a different colour so the chaotic pendulum lines are the blue ones. Blue pen seems to have had it. Try with the purple one. probably see the purple lines are starting to get a little bit more interesting. What I find interesting about the way that we perceive pattern is that uh, it's a kind of delicate balance between order and uh, disorder. I think that this pattern is verging on totally chaotic but again you can still see some order within it, some sort of repeating shapes within that. I'm going to try another one with the Chaos Pendulum. Okay, this one is starting to look a bit overdone. But I think those really wide, those really long period curves on there Oh, the chaotic pendulum. This egg already had a bit of an accident. But let's see if I can make that make something interesting of here. No. Bungie. 
is going to smell lovely when that sets in. So duct tape is not an adequate repair for an egg. Please do like, uh, subscribe for more open source electronics kind of makery sort of stuff. I make videos about Arduinos including the obligatory Arduino watering system. Um, I modified a Chinese laser cutter to run on G-code. I started using that to make laser cut marketry. I also made a blog about building my own CNC machine from scratch uh, using acrylic sheets and uh, the open build C-beam system. So there's a whole playlist which will kind of show you the process and all of the designs for that CNC machine are available for you to download um, and you can make your own. I used that CNC machine to engrave some veneer to create a replica of the puzzle box from the Hellraiser series of films uh, which was my entry for the Instructables Halloween contest this year. There's a lot of miscellaneous stuff on my channel, but if you're into maker stuff, you're probably going to find it interesting to subscribe. I'm really happy to have got past the 700 subscriber mark now. I think it's great that even more people are seeing my videos. I'm excited to see what the rest of 2017 is going to be like.